Sahabat bagi media, satelit Republik Indonesia, Satria, satu hari ini telah meluncur ke angkasa. Tepat pukul 5.21 waktu Indonesia Barat atau hari Minggu pukul 18.21 waktu Florida, Amerika Serikat, Satria 1 meninggalkan bumi dengan roket Falcon 9 milik Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, SpaceX dari Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida. Satria 1 adalah satelit multifungsi pertama milik pemerintah dengan kapasitas terbesar di Asia. Satelit ini akan menempati orbit 146 derajat BT tepat di atas Papua. Peluncuran Satria 1 adalah salah satu upaya kita dalam pemerataan pembangunan infrastruktur digital di pusat pelayanan publik di seluruh Indonesia, kata Presiden Jokowi. Bagaimana menurut kalian? 1 That incredible view means that Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 and right now we are throttling down to prepare for max Q in about 30 seconds. As you may have heard us explain before, this is the period of highest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Power and telemetry nominal. That's because at this point, we are seeing the greatest difference in dynamic pressure, which is increasing with the rocket's speed, and ambient static pressure, which is decreasing as we move up through the Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle is supersonic. With that call out, we know that Falcon 9 is moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. With confirmation that we've passed through Max Q, we have three events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1, or second engine start-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO for short, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines will shut off to slow down the vehicle in preparation for the next event, stage separation, or stage, started. stage set for short. That's where the first stage booster will separate from the second stage. Right after stage set, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth, tar targeting a landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean, about 680 kilometers downrange. Now during that time, stage 2 will continue on its journey to space with the third event, second engine start 1, or SES-1 on the nets, and this is where the single MVAC engine will ignite to propel the second stage along with the PSN Satria pay payload to orbit. In addition to these three major events, the fairing house will also separate less than a minute after SES-1, so keep an eye out for all of those coming up in about 10 seconds. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Impact startup. So you heard the call out there and you can see on your screen in this great dual view that we have that the MVAC engine on our second stage has ignited. Now this is the first of two second stage burns that we're tracking for this mission. And the first stage on the left hand side of your screen is coming back to land on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. We are also expecting fairing deployment. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. With that, we know that both vehicles are headed in the right direction. And as I was describing earlier, we are expecting fairing separation in just about five seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. As some of you mentioned earlier, a reusability is part of our secret sauce here at SpaceX. So with that confirmation of fairing separation, we know that both of those are coming home again. The first, or one of them is like signal Bermuda. For the seventh time and the other for its ninth. It's 
now T plus three minutes and 55 seconds into today's mission. And we have a great view of stage one on the left and stage two on the right. In order to complete today's landing, the first stage has two more burns left. Next up will be the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines on the first stage will reignite. And this will help slow down the F9 first stage as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. That entry burn should start in about two-ish minutes from now and will last about 20 seconds. You can see two of the four hypersonic grid fins that are on the that are positioned near the base of the interstage on the on the booster. And stage one is currently using nothing but the grid fins for steering as it's returning back to Earth. You can also see those little puffs of gas. Those are nitrogen gas bursts for attitude control and they also help orient the rocket on its way back down. And some really awesome views of and a great view of the landing. This landing marks the 12th successful landing for this particular booster and marks our 201st overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket. In addition to landing with confirmation of successful second engine cutoff and good orbit, we are going into a coast phase up until the second relight of our MBAC engine on the second stage, which will be followed by payload deploy. Till then, sit tight and we'll see you back here at the T plus 27 minute mark.